On September 17, the Catholic Church celebrates the Italian Cardinal and theologian Saint Robert Bellarmine. One of the great saints of the Jesuit order, he has also been declared a doctor of the Church and the patron of catechists. Robert Bellarmine was born on October 4, 1542, in the Tuscan town of Monte Balciano, the son of Vincenzo Bellarmino and Cinzia Servini, who was the sister of Pope Marcellus II. As a young boy, Robert knew Virgil by heart and composed a number of poems in Italian and Latin. One of his hymns, On Mary Magdalene, is included in the Roman breviary. He entered the Roman Jesuit novitiate in 1560 and went to a Jesuit house at Mendovi, in Piedmont, where he learned Greek. Later, he was sent to the University of Padua to study theology. In 1569, Robert was sent to finish his studies at the University of Leuven in Brabant. There he was ordained and obtained a reputation both as a professor and as a preacher. He was the first Jesuit to teach at the university, where the subject of his course was the Summa Theologica of Thomas Aquinas. His residency in Leuven lasted seven years. In 1576, he made a journey to Italy. He was commissioned by Pope Gregory XIII to lecture on polemical theology in the new Roman College, now known as the Pontifical Gregorian University. Later, he would promote the cause of the beatification of Aloysius Gonzaga, who had been a student at the college during Robert's tenure. His lectures were published under the title De Controversies in four large volumes. After the murder of Henry III of France in 1589, Pope Sixtus V sent Enrico Caetani as legate to Paris and chose Robert to accompany him as theologian. Robert was made rector of the Roman College in 1592, examiner of bishops in 1598, and cardinal in 1599. Upon the death of Pope Sixtus V in 1590, the Count of Olivares wrote to King Philip III of Spain, Bellarmine would not do for a pope, for he is mindful only of the interests of the church and is unresponsive to the reasons of princes. In 1602, Cardinal Bellarmine was made Archbishop of Capua. He had written against pluralism and non-residence of bishops within the dioceses and put into effect the reforming decrees of the Council of Trent. He received some votes in the 1605 conclaves which elected Pope Leo XI, Pope Paul V, and Pope Gregory XV. His being a Jesuit is said to have counted against him in the judgment of many of the cardinals. In 1616, on the orders of Pope Paul V, Cardinal Bellarmine summoned Galileo Galilei and notified him of a forthcoming decree of the Congregation of the Index and ordered him to abandon it. Galileo later complained of rumors to the effect that he had been forced to abjure and do penance. Cardinal Bellarmine then wrote out a certificate denying the rumors, stating that Galileo had merely been notified of the decree and informed that, as a consequence of it, the Copernican doctrine could not be defended or held. This certificate would have allowed Galileo to continue using and teaching the mathematical content of Copernicus's theory as a purely theoretical device for predicting the apparent motions of the planets. According to his letters, Cardinal Bellarmine believed that a demonstration for heliocentrism could not be found because it would contradict the unanimous consent of the Father's scriptural exegesis, to which the Council of Trent, in 1546, defined all Catholics must adhere. Two years before his death, he had set out his thoughts on the end of earthly life in a book titled, The Art of Dying Well. In that work, the Cardinal explained that preparing for death was life's most important business since the state of one's soul at death would determine the person's eternal destiny. Cardinal Bellarmine retired to Sant'Andrea degli Scozzesi, the Jesuit College of St. Andrew in Rome, due to health problems in the summer of 1621. He died on September 17, 1621, aged 78. Pope Pius XI canonized him in 1931 and declared him to be a doctor of the church. His remains, in a cardinal's red robes, are displayed behind glass under a side altar in the church of St. Ignatius, the chapel of the Roman College, next to the body of his student Aloysius Gonzaga, as he himself had wished.
For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.